I have my grandkids with me this and week. And I've been trying to find a quiet time to work on my crafting with you for a video. And I realized that probably wasn't going to happen. I came up with a better plan. I thought I would have my grandkids make a card for you. And so I have my grandson. How old are you? Eight. My grandson is eight years old, and he's going to make a card with one of these three stamp sets. I picked out three stamp sets that I thought he would have a lot of success with. And which one did you pick? Sprinkles of Life is a really great stamp set for you to pick because when I when anybody buys this set Stampin Up will give three dollars to Ronald McDonald House you like Ronald McDonald right yes yes I do and the Ronald McDonald House is a place for families of kids who are really really sick and Ronald McDonald has a place where their families can stay while they're in the hospital isn't that cool? Yes, yes it is. Would you like to use one of these papers for your card? Um, can I use this one? Sure. And what is your favorite color from that? This donut. That donut right there. Okay, that's Bermuda Bay. What's your other favorite color from that stamp? That is one of our new colors called Cucumber Crush. So let me get those papers and for so you. we'll make our card with Cucumber Crush. And then we'll put a layer of this designer series paper. And then these cards. Do you like that color combination? Yeah, it's good. Okay, let me cut that paper for you. So I will be doing the paper cutting for you. I hope that's okay. It's eight and a half by 11. Mm -hmm. And I'm going to cut it at five and a half. And this cutter is really cool because it cuts it nice and straight. And then I'm going to turn it the other way and I'm going to score it at Can four and a quarter. Can I do it? Sure. I want you to, this is the scoring blade, so it's going to help us fold it. So why don't you move this, kind of push it down and back up again. Oh, that's you perfect. You can actually see the line. Yeah, you can. And see how easy it is to fold? Yeah. So this is five and a half by four and a quarter. So I'm going to cut this just a little bit smaller at four and five and a quarter. Okay. You want to put it together and see? Now we're going to put the decorations on the front of the card, not the inside. Like right here? Would uh -huh. you like to go ahead and put that on right now? Yeah. Okay. We're going to use the silicone mat. <laughs> we want to put the, the sticky stuff on the inside. And this is our snail adhesive. Can I do it? Yeah. But let me show you how to do it. I'm almost out of adhesive, so we may have to change it out. I'm going to just open this little door, and you're going to put your finger up here on this bumpy part, and then you're going to drag it on drag there it near the edges. So now we need to put your designer series paper on the front of your card. So get, put your card up here so we can see it on the video. You want to get it in the centers. You're going to have a little bit of an edge all the way around. Very nice. This is a cool stamp set because you can put, this could be a basket of flowers or it could be a cupcake. This could be a trash can. It could be a trash can, or it could be an ice cream cone. Oh yeah, you're right. A giant ice cream cone. And this could be ice cream, or it could be the top of your cupcake. Or, it could, or that could be the bottom of a bush, and that could be the top of a bush, like the bushy part. Uh-huh, and you can also have the flowers like a bushy part, or leaves for a bushy part. You can put a candle in a cupcake. That could be sprinkles. It could be sprinkles. And here's some flower stems, and here's the flowers. And here's the rain for the cloud. Uh-huh. If that is a cloud. It could be a cloud. And we've got a tree. we got a bird and an apple. Uh-huh. We can make the bird eat the apple. You could. I'd like to do this one and this what one. What color shall we use the cloud? Do you want to be stamping in the Bermuda Bay, or, the, or do you want to use this lighter blue color? Blue to bay. You had a question for me. How do you open this? Let me show you. 
You hold it with the words. Are the words face up for you? Yeah. Okay. We're going to push this away and we're going to flip it over. Sometimes it gets pushed too far and so it should be nice and easy when you flip it and then you push it in like that. Whoa. I've never been something this advanced. So we're going to, you wanted to do the cloud. Mm -hmm. It's always easier to have the blocks fit your stamp. Yeah. And so I'm going to stick it on. And then you're going to stamp the clouds. So where would the clouds be? At uh -huh. the top. And I see that I didn't tell you how to be careful with this. Are you okay with this or shall we flip this paper over and try again? It's okay. Okay. I will put this over here and I'll clean that for you. Thank I you. saw that you got some on your finger. Do you want to put your finger on here? Just rub it on the wet side and then rub it up on the dry side and that'll oops, I think you got your you got some on your wrist now. Oh wow. Well, let me close this up right now or get it out of the way. You can rub it on there. This is stamp cleaner, but it works for fingers and wrists too, doesn't it? Yes. This is called Stampin' Mist. Wow, it does work. And a Stampin' Scrub. It you does. wanted to put some raindrops. Do you want to have the raindrops the same color? Yeah. All I have to do is okay. remove the other stamp on this block and put this one on. And this is ready. So let's move this stamp pad up out of the way so we don't get it in there. One of the things about these stamp pads is they are really easy to ink stamps. So you just need to do tap, 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 barely touching it. Look, look. See? Whoa. Pretty cool, huh? It's like a pen. So tap, tap, tap. Nice. Do you want more raindrops? Yeah. Okay, there you go. I want to put the cloud, I mean, I put the tree, you wanna I then put this over the thing so it looks like the... So you want to put the tree and put leaves on the tree? Mm -hmm. Perfect. I want to make the tree brown. And how about making the leaves cucumber crush so I it have matches. my paper sampler. Which brown would you like to use for the tree trunk? I um, have lots. This one? That's chocolate chip. Let me get my cha chocolate chip. Chocolate chip! We have a, a couple of choices. Would you like to stamp the tree or punch it out with this cool punch that matches the stamp set? Or you could stamp and punch. What would you like to do? I like to punch. To punch, I need to slide this and that opens it up. And then you can just put it in here and then push down really hard. You may have, let's see if you can, if you're strong enough to push. Perfect, look at that. What? And so you can put your tree up there and let's stamp the leaves and then punch it, okay? This is Whisper White cardstock. And here's the Cucumber Crush ink that matches the paper. And let's get the leaves we'll out. Put the leaves on the block. I should. We should be using this firm, this foam pad. So let me lift this up and put it underneath. Okay, and let you stamp. And I'm glad you're going tap tap tap. See how the stamp has a a bigger part down here? Mm -hmm. Can you see that on the stamp? Put that near the edge of your paper. Turn it so that that's on the edge of your paper. Okay, so what I want th is this to be on the edge. So let's get some more the ink on there. Bottom. Perfect. And now we're going to punch these leaves out. But I'm going to turn the punch upside down. And we're going to line up the leaves right in there. Okay, so now I'm going to put it on the table. Now you can punch. Whoa!
Look at this. It's cool. It is we cool. We want to put this here. Do you want to put the tree over the leaves or put the leaves in front of the tree? So how do you want to do it? So we're <laughs> going to get out our silicone mat out again. And you're going to put adhesive on the tree trunk. So put the tree trunk piece up here. And you're going to put adhesive on oh, there. No, three, three, Remember three. to get your finger, put your pointer finger on the bumpy pull part. towards you. You, know, you want to pull it, not push. There you go. You know what? It's going to be easier. Why don't you put the adhesive on the bottom? Nice. There you go. That's, And we're going to turn it around. And you're going to put the adhesive on the top. Nice. I think you got it. Okay, so you're ready to put the tree trunk on your car. I'm just going to put the tree trunk on there right now. Okay, and then we've got these things that are called stamp and dimensionals. So let's put some of these on the back of the tree trunk. You're going to just pull off one of these pieces and put it, put two or three on the back of put your... Put them on the back of your piece here. Okay? And I you already got the backing off, so you're ready to put the the leaves onto your tree. Da, blah, blah. That looks fabulous. It does indeed. It does indeed. Yeah. We're going to I thought we could put some of this Bermuda Bay right behind here. Do you like that? Yeah, I do. Do you want to put dimensionals or do you want it flat? I want it flat. Okay. So let's put some adhesive on here, our snail adhesive. You don't need to push hard. Okay, that is empty. Oops. So I have my refill, so let me show you how to refill it. All I need to do is push here and pull it off. This part is trash, and this part we're going to And all I have to do is put it... Take this part out and put them together. Ooh. Okay, put that on your. If you put your whisper white on your Bermuda Bay. I didn't know it was whisper white. Uh -huh. And you're gonna put this piece on here. You need to use adhesive. Perfect. The inside is kind of dark so let's get let me put a piece of white paper inside so it'll be easier to write things in, okay? Okay. That clicking means it's working. And do we want to use one of the words in here? We've got every cloud has a silver lining. You just have to look up to see it, which might look nice with the rain. Yeah, I would. You like that one? Yeah. You want okay. it in the cucumber crush? Yeah. Watch your fingers. Did you get your fingers in there? Yes. Remember, just tap, 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 and make sure it's the words are right side up. If you look at it this side, you'll be able to see the words better. And those, this is called photopolymer, and you can see right through the stamp. Very nice. And now your card's done. Who do you think you're going to give this card to? My mom. So I think your mom will love this card. Every cloud has a silver lining. You just have to look up to see it. Thank you for stamping. Did you have fun? Yeah. Okay. Here's your card. Thank you. Mm -hmm.